Hello and welcome to another blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah Hankel with Cheeky Scientist. And this week's blog is a great blog for all of you or who are wondering how to give a presentation during an interview. Okay, this is something you need to prepare for long in advance, well before you get invited to a site visit. What usually happens is you'll go to a site visit, they'll tell you after you get the site visit booked, oh, we're gonna have you give a short presentation, maybe around 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And you'll ask, the person, okay, what am I going to be presenting on? And this is what throws a lot of PhDs off. They'll say, they'll be very aloof. They'll say, oh, it doesn't really matter. Just talk about yourself or your work or whatever. Um, some companies will give you a brief, but usually that's all the hiring manager will say. Remember, hiring managers, right, for the most part, they don't have PhDs. They're not thinking of a, an academic style talk. They're not thinking of a chalk talk. And they want you to be able to present to different members of the company, right? Different types of employees. Very likely in the audience, it's not just going to be other PhDs, it's going to be people who don't have PhDs, people from HR, etc. This blog article is great because it takes you through a 21 point checklist, things, everything that you need to make sure you have in place before giving that presentation. Number one, very important, know who your audience is. They're likely not going to tell you, even if they give you a brief on what they want you to talk about in your presentation, they're not going to tell you who's going to be in the audience. Make sure you ask. Is it a general audience? PhDs, non-PhDs, people from the R&D department, from regulatory affairs, from HR, right? From manufacturing. Is it open to everybody? You need to know this because you want to tailor your talk to your audience. It's the most important thing. The second most important thing, which is the second checkpoint, is know the purpose of your talk. Remember, even if they tell you, just talk about yourself or your work, that still gives you insights into the purpose, right? The, most, the two most important things of any presentation, really any communication, is knowing your audience and knowing the purpose of what you're saying or what you're communicating in this tape, uh, in this case, a, your, your presentation, your talk. Right? So what is the purpose? Talk about you. Give a background of you. Tell a little bit of a story. This is very foreign to most PhDs because we never talk about ourselves. We only use passive language in academia, right? We use language like, we think or we, uh, you know, we tried this and it, it's assumed that this happened or it could be thought that this happened. No, you want to say the word I in this talk, okay? This is my background. I went through this. This is the work that I did. And this is how all of this stuff, me, myself, the work that I did is going to make your company better, right? How it fits into the position you're going after. I'm not going to go through all 21 points, but I'll go through one more. The third is have a main theme. What is the one thing you want them to walk away with? There was a large-scale study done where it pulled participants of different types of seminars, talks, everything from academic talks to industry talks to uh, entertaining talks, and they pulled audience members after all of those different types of presentations to see what they could remember about the presentation right after it was over. Most people could remember one or two things. That's it. Usually it was the title of the talk. Right? So make sure the title of your talk relates to the main theme of your talk, and that main theme is throughout the entire talk. Right? Another thing they often, re often remembered was stories. So tell a story, your background story, how you got to where you are in your career. You'll definitely want to check out the rest of the points in this article. Until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.